here we are today talking to the man who knows everything about the south of the park, Phil Askew. We're in a part of the park now which uh, I think is going to be fantastic when it opens uh, and is used over the next few years and particularly this summer. It's the south part of the park. During the Olympic Games this whole area was a massive area of hard paving uh, and that was because we had to accommodate the enormous amounts of people that came into the park during games. Behind me you can see these uh, strange orbs up in the sky between the trees which are part of the uh, lighting feature that we're putting in and this runs north-south along what we call the Arc Promenade which is an avenue of great big trees and you can see them again behind me uh, and between those trees are these sort of things which look like Daleks or bits of Doctor Who sets I don't know something like that and these are lit at night with a really strong light um, and what that means is you get this amazing sort of disco ball pattern on the ground if you come to the South Park, there are three things you can't miss because I think they're going to be absolutely fantastic. The first thing is Carpenter's Lock, which during games was covered over and bridged over. We've now opened it up and we've created this amazing amphitheatre space with an extraordinary mirrored finished bridge crossing it, the most amazing planting scheme, big pine trees, scented grasses, seating and steps for people to picnic on and possibly enjoy events in the future. It's going to be absolutely amazing when it's lit at night and during the day. The second thing I think is going to be really extraordinary is the fountain that we've built. It's this incredible serpentine fountain, it's got computer controlled jets, it'll be lit at night, amazing for kids, probably drive parents mad because they'll all get wet, um, but we're going to program it to do extraordinary things. And the third thing I think is the play area. Really amazing play area. It's got a big climbing wall so people can come here. They can climb, kids can climb. It's got uh, fantastic water features again, a massive sand pit. Uh, really robust sort of place to come and play, but quite unique. 